Rick Herberg, Mad Fiber Wheels. The idea with this is to build a wheel in the classical style with highly tensioned, flexible spokes, but just not use wire. Carbon fiber is the premier material of our day for supporting tension loads. And I would call the bicycle wheel the premier tension structure of our time. Yeah. Certainly based on, on numbers and use and efficiency and economy and durability. So the two are made for each other. And the question is when will someone when will the two really get married properly? Because the current carbon fiber wheel is a ram steel metal hub, which is carbon imitating aluminum, which is a benefit. Or a strutted wheel like the head three. But that doesn't have tension, so it's a departure from the classical wheel. Right. This is the first classical inspired, but carbon fiber specific. So a Boeing engineer and myself have uh, kind of reinvented the wheel in order to suit this material. So this will be like a great triathlon wheel, great climbing wheel. It's trying to be good at everything, and we're really kind of surprised with how well it does. I mean, it's. Tubular wheel is just over one kilo a pair, so you'd have to say great climbing wheel. Most people who ride it say fabulous crit wheel. And we have many crit races being won every week on, on it. Uh, people who are just pure sprinters, pure power, are saying fantastic for sprinting wheel. Where's the fixed gear version, which is just around the corner? Right. Um, others who do long distance, you know, um, ultra marathon type riding, are saying it's the smoothest ride they've ever had without also encountering a soft tire, which is high rolling resistance, or um, loose spokes, which makes the wheel wobble. Right. It has a cloud-like feel. Most of the reviewers have noticed that. The wheel tends to float uh, in a very unexpected way. It, it is an option with carbon. It's not an option with uh, wire, wire spokes. And what about wind on the bladed spokes? Any sort of like feedback well, on that? a small number of spokes. The front is only 12. Right. So it's true they're wider, but the biggest issue with wind is really that the wheel is so light. Right. And light like today's bikes. You know, they're so thick and light. Right. And they have some higher surface area. It's going to be, no matter what wheel you've got, you're going to be right. like coming down to, uh, to 92. Right. Mm -hmm. right. When you get those crosswinds. Yep. yep. You know, any place like that, east or west bay, you're going uh, to be seeing uh, a challenging wind conditions. Right. And this wheel, by being so light, and it's deep at 60. Right. It's going to be a challenge, sure. What's the clincher retailing for right now? The clincher to the are sitting at $28.99. Right. Which is quick releases, brake pads, valve extenders, right. magnet kit, uh, balance kit, four year warranty, uh, very inexpensive crash replacement, it's $400 a wheel. And what's the, what's the, and you said you're coming out with a track wheel too, what's the width going to be on no, the? No, we're just going to replace the, oh, you are. the okay. free hub guts with a fixed gear. Ah, system. okay. Right. Ah, cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rick Herberg, Mad Fiber Wheels.